Hey, Fractal fans, it's Austin Buddy coming to you from my beautiful Electric Buddy Land Studios. This is where I make the uh, Axe FX uh, 3 Naked Amps Tone Pack, 1400 sounds for your Axe FX 3, actually going on about 1800 now. Um, and what I want to do today is there are a lot of you that are new buyers, uh, you're new to the Axe FX 3, you're new to the Fractal world, and you're asking smart questions about I don't understand this. How do I load banks, save banks? How do I update firmware? Some very basic things. So I'm going to do, this is again, it's a down and dirty video. I'm going to take you through doing those things uh, with me. Uh, I'll have a screen up. Um, I'll be in the corner of it um, talking as we go through it. And I'm going to walk you through all these things you should know that will make you a better user, get you up the learning curve faster. So that's the purpose of this video. This is about basically helping the new Axe FX3 users, and it may come in useful later for the FM3 users as well, just to get familiar with Fractal's suite of tools that they use, the software, to be able to load and save banks, uh, manage those, manage presets, how to load cab IRs, how to manage your new FC12 or FC6, how do you save and uh, load uh, layouts for that, how do you update firmware, how do you go backwards on firmware. So those are just some things that come up from time to time, and that's the purpose of today's video. So let's get after it. Well, buckle up, because we're going to go pretty fast on this. So you bought your Axe FX3. These are some things you need to do as soon as you buy it. Okay, so first you want to go to the Fractal Audio homepage, fractalaudio.com. This is not the same thing as the forum. And you're going to go over here to this thing called support. And look at this. They've got downloads and they've got editors. So you bought yourself an Axe Edit 3. You want to click that Axe Edit 3 editor and you're going to want to download that based on your computer system. So click that download. That's gonna download that onto your computer and to wherever your computer downloads things. Don't ask me for help on that. I'm not a tech expert for Mac or Windows, but it's gonna to go to your computer. You need to know where that file is later because you're gonna to have to open that file up to install Axe Edit 3. And there are usually succeeding versions of this. So when you do it and install it, and maybe we'll try it in a minute, um, it will actually ask you if you want to update or get a better version of it. Go ahead and do that. Okay. So that's where you get Axe Edit 3 and support and editors. Boom. And when the FM3 comes out, it'll show up and be listed here. And this is where you'll download that. You want to make sure there's a USB cable from the back of your Axe Effects 3 into your computer so that your computer can talk to your uh, Axe Effects 3 and vice versa. So the second thing you want to do is you want to come over to Downloads and you want to go to Axe FX 3. So this is step number two. And now here you go. This is where you can download the owner's manual, which you should do. It's a PDF format. You should learn it. A lot of questions you're going to ask are be answered in that. This is where also where you can get the latest public final firmware. Now, a lot of people get confused. They see firmware posted on the forum. That is often a beta firmware and i do not encourage you to install beta firmware if you don't know what you're doing if you're a new user yeah it may have some cool sexy features but beta firmwares will have bugs and that's why we fractal posts those up so key people can test them and report those in when all the bugs have been reported you're going to get it right here you're going to get the firmware that's the final that they know is good this one's from november 28th i'm sure there'll be a new firmware 11 coming out but you're going to want to download that firmware i'm going to go ahead and click that download and it takes a few minutes to download the other thing that's over here you need to know is there is a factory presets bank so when you buy your fractal axe fx3 it comes with three factory banks a b and c usually d is blank and bank A is usually mostly amps, which is great. So you can try out a whole bunch of different amps, kind of like my naked amps, although they'll have a little effects and things like that. And banks B and C really show off some of the amazing creative potential of the unit to design sounds. It's pretty extraordinary. So, and D is empty. And a lot of people think, well, I don't want to erase my presets or my factory presets, you know. You need to know that you can always go here and download the factory presets and reinstall them anytime. So I don't worry about factory presets. I will delete a bank B and a bank C and I'll move bank A over to where bank C was and all that kind of stuff because I can come here anytime and download all three of those factory banks and put them back in and it'll be just like when I bought it. We're going to download those. Now, 
I personally do not use the USB for audio. I just use it for MIDI communications for Axe Edit 3. That's all I use it for. But some of you guys maybe want to use it for an audio unit. Don't ask me for tech help on that. Go to Fractal on that. But this is where you would download your USB driver for that, um, whether you're using a Windows system. Um, and some of you, if you buy an older unit, you might have to update the firmware for the USB thing here. I think if you're a new unit, you're taken care of. But so my computer is clearly a Mac. So the stuff I'm going to show you is Mac related. If you have Windows, sorry, I don't have a Windows computer, but a lot of these concepts should apply. Now, the other thing you have to get, you're not done yet, go to support, go to downloads, and you want to download this utility called FractalBot. Okay? FractalBot is a separate piece of software that you use to have your computer talk to your AxeFX 3 or other MIDI uh, units related to it. If you have an Axe 8, if you have an AxeFX, this is how you can update firmware, or if you wanted to roll back and revert to an older firmware, it's also how you can save all the banks on your computer permanently to your computer's hard drive so you can retrieve them anytime you want. And it's where you can load banks into your unit all at once rather than trying to do them manually one by one like some people are trying to do. Uh, it's really the way to go. Uh, banks can load in a minute's time if you, if you do it right, and I'll show you a trick for that as we get into it. Um, and we're going to run FractalBot here in a minute so you can see a little bit more about it. But you want to download this. You can download it for Windows or, um, or Mac. Um, this gets updated pretty much on a regular basis as well. Um, so you'll need to follow the install instructions. All this is on your Fractal homepage, so it's under support. And again, you can always contact Fractal Support if you've got some issues. If you have a Fractal FC12 or FC6, which are great, amazing foot controllers, this is where you go to get their own your manual and a quick start guide and also the latest firmware. As I'm doing this video, they just released firmware 1.10. It's not even posted to the website yet. Let's uh, keep moving on.